So if for any reason he can't finish his triangle, he may switch to an armbar. So a good example, he's gone for his triangle in this position. I've got my posture, not quite up high, but enough to kind of keep me out of danger, but Jay's now gonna to switch to an armbar instead. Okay, so it's similar with the armbar, he's attacking for the armbar, but you know, he can't finish the armbar or create the angle, he may go back to a triangle position. Okay, so like these, these guys, it's worth kind of learning together. Um, and the thing is, you're learning the opposite. Whereas with the triangle escapes and prevention, we're looking at posture. With arm bars, we're looking at pressure. Okay, so it's kind of the uh, yin and yang of, of defense in, in this position. So he's gonna go, um, if you just go back and then. He's gonna do his arm bar, which we learned a little while ago. So he's passed the arm across, he's gone into here with the shoulder. He's created the angle, the leg's gone over the back. Okay, so at this point is where we're gonna start kind of thinking about our arm bar defense. Again, there are things that we can do to prevent this before he goes through. So as he starts going into the armbar, I'm going to follow his hips. Yep, I'm going to take his angle away. Okay, so I'm always going to kind of keep myself in line with, with Jay to make sure that he can't create that angle. That only lasts so long. If someone's really aggressive with the armbar, your arm is <coughs> passing across and your, your posture is not great, there's a good chance that you're going to get it at some point. Okay, so here, cross and through. So the first thing we're going to look at is when they've got this arm isolated and this arm's in this position as well. Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to stack. Okay, now what I'm not doing is I'm oh, trying to have a good book. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything controlled because if I, if I pressure in and he just kicks me through, yeah, he's going to break my arm. Yeah, if I drive the wrong way and he follows it, there's things like called swims and stuff like that. He's going to end up putting me on my back, and now I'm in an even worse position to defend the armbar. So everything that we're doing is slow and control. Okay. So imagine, you know, you've got these little stones over a lava river. You don't just fucking run the area. You're going slow and steady. You're making sure that the stone is going to take you away. This is exactly the analogy that I need you to be thinking about when you're in an armbar. Okay. So change the angle. Boom, shit. Keep his knees, yeah, next to his head. I like to bring this knee up to help a little bit. So if you guys just scoot round this way, don't worry about rushing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've got that knee behind here. Just helps a little bit, yeah, and keeping that pressure down. Okay, so that's the first thing. So Jay's just gonna try and um, drive his heels down to the mat. I'm just going to try and keep in this position. He's not forcing it too hard, he's just giving me a little bit of resistance. Okay, so that's the first position. Okay, into a stacked yeah, armor. 